Dreams don't die. Bloody Roar is one of those series that's near and dear to my heart, right next to Fatal Fury and the King of Fighters. To those that don't know, Bloody Roar is a fighting game series with a cast of characters that are capable of transforming into beasts. In other words, they're zoanthropes. The series was produced by Hudson, games were developed by Aiding, the guys that made Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and the current owner of the series is Konami. Bloody Roar was on a roll until the fourth game, which not only sold terribly, but ultimately destroyed the quality and disregarded some plot lines of the Bloody Roar series. Basically, that game isn't even canon, even with the foreigner title. If you want a more, well, elaborative understanding of it all, go peep my boy SCXCR's retrospective video. The link to that will be in the description. Bloody Roar as a fighter is incredibly unique, and while it definitely stands out from any other fighting game, it's most definitely the most obscure fighting game out there. How can Bloody Roar redeem itself? As a starter, I guess for number zero, will be to put the first three Bloody Roar games onto the PS4's PSN store, which actually leads into my first point advertise and market it correctly and appropriately. The second thing I'd do is rather simple, but it'd be beneficial to newcomers of the series. That being to add a combo list within the game instead of having them in manuals or give the people the option to view a combo list just so veterans of the series can discover combos or freestyle combos just for old times sake. It's not like manuals are produced these days anyway. Thirdly, explore other species we've never seen before, like a kangaroo and a monkey and a bear. I don't know, a grasshopper? I don't know, just something new. In other words, add new characters, which Bloody World was always consistent with, I may add. Now, I'm not a super fighting game head, however, I'm not gonna sit here and say that Bloody Roar is a fighting game series that the FGC seriously needs. I'd want the Bloody Roar series to be exposed to the FGC, not only because I find it unique, but because it has a ton of potential to get into the spotlight with all of the unique characters and the overall essence that the series gives off. Plus, this would give people the opportunity to get introduced to the series if they've never heard about it. Aiding's still around, so it's not like it's impossible for a fifth game to happen. Speaking of Bloody War 5, either continue where Bloody War 3 left off and end the story there, or just reboot the series. Yeah, I know it's weird to have Bloody War 5 leave off of where Bloody War 3 left off because it's not Bloody War 4, but Bloody War 4 doesn't follow up after 3, and whoever makes the next game can't call it Bloody War 4.5, and that'd be complicated itself. Anyways, my point is, just bring Bloody Roar back, because it definitely has its own identity and has so much potential to do good these times around, especially in the FGC. Killer Instinct came back after nearly two decades, so Bloody Roar most definitely has a chance. Be it a reboot or sequel, I'm open arms, and I'm sure many others are as well.